am Heather Marzigliano from Grace on Broadway, Grace on Design, and Hocus Pocus US. I am half of all of those teams and all of Grace on Broadway. And we just launched a couple hours ago our second set of decoupage packs, which I'm super pumped about. And today we are going to be working on this adorable little stand um, with Havana Days. So I think it's going to be super pretty. And I want to show you guys how, how much you really get with our packs. So we're going to use the small print of Havana Days and the companion pack. And it's going to make this whole table look adorable. So I did take the, the drawers are out, but they're here. We're not going to use them. And it's just this, this cute little stand. Let's back it up. There we go. Now you guys can see, okay? Um, Havana Days is the one we're using. And this is Havana Days. So Havana Days, I know it looks a little bit more watercolor, but keep, as we put something behind it, the color really starts to pop. But this is more of a, a watercolor print, so it's a little softer. And we're going to also use the companion piece, which are these really pretty, like, floral Havana. I think for, like, viewing, let's do the companion pieces first also because, um, kind of right where I am. So, this color, it is one of CC's colors with Pink Couture. Um, it's Blue Hemian Rhapsody. So that's the color. It's super, 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 super pretty. Um, as you know, our distribution company and our papers and our retailers work with all the different paint companies so we've been having a lot of fun getting to know all of the products so one of the first things you're going to notice is here and here I did two coats of paint because we're not going to put paper there but here I'm on the side I'm going to paper this panel so there was no reason to go crazy and do two coats of paint I did one coat of paint so that the toning stays consistent and also so that if we fray our edges or do anything like that, it's the same color coming through on both spots. But there's no reason to do a second coat if we're just going to put paper on it, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, which you guys aren't going to see because if I pick it up and try to cut, it will not be amazing is I'm gonna cut the small image away from the companion paper because we're gonna save that for the top. So again, here is Havana Days, and that's what it looks like against the blue, so you see a little bit more of that color is really showing true. And that'll end up up here, so you guys can see where we're going, okay? And now here is our companion paper. So what I wanna do is use this line where I cut and we're gonna go right to there and I'm just gonna come over to this side and kind of use my nail to create like a little score okay so now we kind of we kind of have our outline right of what's gonna fit in that little pocket and what we can do too to kind of cheat is fold that over because we have two sides we're going to do and you'll see that you have plenty of paper to do both sides so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut not on that line but just a little bit past it okay so now this should fit right it's going to fit right in here in that panel look how cute that's going to be isn't that going to be pretty I think it's going to be cute and this these colors are so like dead on so dead on hey Serena so we're gonna seal it I didn't do anything on the sides yet like this stuff is not done it's all just paint we're gonna do the decoupage first and then we'll do all the rest so as you can see we still have all of this right so again we're just gonna kind of do a quick little rub and that's gonna show us roughly where we need to end and then we're going to cut Again, just a smidgen past it. We don't want to waste paper. 
But we also want to get what we don't need out of our way, right? We don't need it, it's gone. So this is what we're left with. So it fits right in that little pocket and it's just a hair longer than what we need it to be. So this is Pink Couture's satin. I find that a lot of um, a lot of top coats in satin work really well with decoupage. I am awful with cleaning my lids before I close them. So I always need to give them a good bang on the floor. Be careful with that. You don't want to. I've broken them before, so be careful. But it's definitely a good trick. So this is my triangle brush. Um, it's kind of fun. There's angles, but to be like super honest, it was the cleanest brush I had right here, but it'll do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our brush and we're going to put an even amount of top coat and we want to cover this whole bit okay you definitely want more top coat than not don't soak it like that's too much okay if it's painting on white that's that's too much you don't want it white but you do want it to have even coverage on your whole piece, okay? So that's about right. It's it's just almost like a light milky, not full white. Let's just make sure we got our whole side covered because if you don't have it somewhere, it's going to create an air bubble. And those are awful, guys. And we're gonna go full on just wet apply method right now. We are not even gonna do an iron on. We're just gonna get this on there. So I'm not scared. We can do it. All right. I'm just gonna go down the center. I like to work center out. I was trying to go only from top down, but really I like I like the center over. But see, we can change our mind and our paper doesn't rip immediately. So right now I am just using my finger and like the back side of my hand to just kind of guide my paper straight and smooth where I want it to go. There's still some slight little wrinkles that are happening. It's not the end of the world though. The most important thing right this second is to walk everything out so that your air, your um, you know, the air underneath is, is going. I'm, I have to say I'm really enjoying, we're working with, like I said, we're getting to know all these paint companies because we want to work with with all of them because we have retailers from all the paint companies and we really want to make sure we're respectful and we cover all the different paint companies because our products work with all paint and so do we and it's been really fun to get to know everybody okay so now it's down it's how pretty that is but we have a couple little tiny wrinkles here and there. Um, and they, let's get that corner down. Oh, it's just smudged down. Okay, there we go. They would drive me nuts, okay? So this is why we include a rad pod with your pack, okay? I know little wrinkles give character and sometimes they do, but sometimes they drive me nuts. And on this one, it's gonna drive me nuts. So, you get a little rad pad in your tube, you get this piece, that piece, and, and the big piece, and a rad pad. And if you take your rad pad and go over your design, it is going to erase all of those little wrinkles, almost like when uh, the magic eraser came out and you were like, what? Okay. So this rad pad is literally pushing and pulling out 
all of whatever wrinkles we had, okay? And it's gonna give this a really nice, smooth finish. I found that this is the easiest way to honestly teach people how to do the wet method because I know a lot of people are so scared of it. They're like, what? The wet decoupage? No way, I can't do that. Yes, you can, I promise. I so promise. Look, if you can see, I tried. It literally, like there's a wrinkle right there. Gone. Gone. There's a tiniest wrinkle here that I missed because I was at a different angle. Gone. Just gone, okay? So look your piece over. And I'm using the abrasive side, guys. I'm not even using the foam. This is abrasive. This is foam. No bumps, no wrinkles, nothing crazy. Now, I'm not saying that decoupage can't have wrinkles, okay? You don't want air bubbles. Air bubbles aren't awesome because structurally there's air under your paper, right? So that's going to almost ask it to rip. So this, um, a little bit of wrinkles here and there definitely add to the character, but, and sometimes, yes, you want it like super wrinkly, like it looks old and funky and you're gonna add like, like a dark glaze and do dirt and all of that stuff. But sometimes, like for me with this one, you just want it pretty and you just want it flat, right? So this is like epic. Um, so this is, this comes with our packs and it's from Surf Prep Rad Pads and the yellow is super fine. I just want to make sure I'm giving you guys like real information because sometimes I, I forget. Um, and it's 500 to 600 grit. So it is a finer paper, but it's enough and and the foam makes it softer. Would I use it with other papers? Um, there's some that I think could withstand it, but there's some that will rip. Our papers, while they're still thin like tissue, are really strong, so you can do stuff like this with them. So now, we have that edge at the bottom. We're gonna just take our rad pad, again, same, grab pad and we're gonna just push down and kind of on like an, an angle okay you can kind of do like this and what that's gonna do is it's gonna score your paper so it's gonna pull your paper right at the angle that you need it so that you don't have to cut your paper perfectly to fit this section because that would be a nightmare, right? Can you imagine? You'd have to put your cut the paper perfect, then you have to place it down perfect. I mean, that would just be epically frustrating. And I am all for working harder. I mean, smarter, not harder. Oh my gosh, not harder. We're trying to we're trying to be smart about this, guys. Okay, so. Over. We can do that. So now, this side is done. We have our great angle cut. We have a flat decoupage. It is super pretty. This blue and this blue were like made to meet each other. Um, let's let's do the other side perfectly. Okay. And we still have this bit left too from the bottom of the first piece we cut for that side. So, look, we could take this and have enough to do both drawers. Not this last part, but who cares? You don't see that anyway. I mean, that's way back in here. But we could do both drawers with the bottom 
I mean both sides of one drawer with the bottom of that side. And then we're gonna have the same bottom of this side that we could do the second drawer. So this is how much paper comes in your packs, guys. Like, and this is just the small print and the companion sheet. This isn't even the big piece. The big piece is 24 inches by 36 inches, so it can do an entire dresser front, okay? All right, let's move on and do this part again. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it close so you can see my rad pad trick right from the beginning this time. Wrinkle's gone. There's wrinkles down there. Here's bigger wrinkles. Brad's head. Wrinkles are gone. Okay. We're just going to work these wrinkles literally right out. Now I'm not using all of my force, but I'm also not going light either. So I want to say that I'm probably somewhere, somewhere in the middle, somewhere around medium force. Alright, so we're just going to, again, we're doing this kind of on like a diagonal, like you see I'm kind of pushing back here underneath, and that's helping to score that paper. So that we get that fresh cut line, okay? So it's gonna help score that paper. Just got this little bit left. And again, this way you don't have to cut it perfect from the first time you do it, okay? Our second one. There we go. So again, we're going, we lined it up. And we're right there. We don't have as much leftover material, so I'm gonna try to be just a little bit more precise with my cutting. Okay. We're coating it with our top coat, but we're not going crazy. More than none, not too much, okay? And I'm going to start on this little curve here to make sure we have it. And then I'm actually just gonna use my finger to help pull it straight down. This way there's no bubbles. And you know what? This is actually small enough for me to bring up close for our trick with the drawers. With the wrinkles, let's see. There's the wrinkle. Okay. It's gone. See those wrinkles? This is kind of difficult to do, but only how I'm holding it. And they're gone. So let, let me show you some, and then I can do it where I can see it. Okay, so you see like these couple wrinkles in here? Now I can actually see what I'm doing, so give me one second. I just need to like lean in on my knee. And I'll lean it so then I can make sure I'm seeing all of it. Sometimes you need to look at things from different angles, right? Okay. Now look. No wrinkles. None. Isn't that cool? So this is why we have the red pads. It's so that they can do this. Okay. So 
so it will distress it a tiny bit, but nothing, nothing crazy. And that also depends on how hard you're pressing down. But what you'll notice too is I did not paint the sides of these drawers. So when it does kind of distress because we flattened it, you'll see the wood come through instead of where we did it here and the same tonage of paint, okay? So that also depends on how you want it to look. And we're almost done with this part. We'll finish this drawer and then I just wanna show you guys Stardust because it's so pretty and we're gonna add it. So for those of you guys who don't know, it's not our product, it's one of Pink Couture's but I think it'd be really pretty on here. So I'm gonna finish up this drawer and then I'm gonna show you Stardust and then we will wrap it up. All right, we're on. Lesson number two, don't line up an uneven line. Um, okay, so this one actually, I don't, somehow worked out where there's really not many wrinkles, but we're going to go over it anyway and just kind of make sure. But after all that lining up trouble, it actually kind of behaved for us, which is amazing. We want to kind of score this though and get that little bit off of there before it dries on. See? little bit they're kind of there we go Oop. all right so it's on perfect and now oh, I have I'm gonna go back and clean up that but what I want to do right now is just make sure that any of my runaway satin top coat I kind of get it you don't want it to like goober up anywhere and I was chatting with you guys and not watching my, my top coat so now look how cute this is isn't that adorable I super love that I think it's really cute so now let me show you guys Stardust so what we're gonna do, so this is not done. Let me back up, this is not done yet. But we're gonna do nothing right now, okay? If you do something right now and put top coat on it this moment, it is going to bubble up and do weird things again, okay? So this is one of those moments when patience comes in really handy and trust me, I'm not a patient person. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna let this sit overnight. We want that top coat that's underneath there to really cure to that paper. Then you're gonna come in and put your top coat on and then your glazes and whatever you wanna finish on top. But we don't want to put the top coat on immediately because it's going to start to, to bubble and crack and do weird stuff and undo everything we kind of did just now. So when I opened it, it looks just white and the glitter's at the bottom. So I'm going to grab, we're not going to use this brush, so I'm going to grab the back of that brush and I'm going to stir the heck out of it. Sometimes with metallics and shiny things, um, especially if there's metals and that kind of stuff, it, it kind of sticks to the bottom. So you really want to make sure you're, you're stirring that stuff good. And backs of paintbrushes that you're not going to use immediately work really well for stir sticks, for the record. Okay. So this might end up looking white to you guys. Can you see all the shiny that's in that white? Look at all that flex. There's so much glitter in this white, it's unreal. All right, so teeny tiny little art brush. Oh, it's glitter! 
and it's like clear glitter. Look. I really hope you guys can see how much sparkle is happening right now. Glitter there is gonna be just pretty enough. And this would be even fun on the paper. Like I could see this going like on some of the flowers. I'm not gonna do too much because I still need to top coat it. Um, but it would be pretty. This stuff would be epic on Wicked Red Shoes. I'm gonna make that happen. Watch, she's gonna have some BA shoes. Alright, so let's get this on nice and even and thin, and I think that this is probably one of those products where we want to do our first coat thin and then come back and add more if needed. And then I'm going to find like fancy girly handles, because how fun, right? Okay, so we have, look. Shiny glitter. There. Whoa. Look at that. How awesome is that? So fun. Okay. And then we did the peekaboo drawers. And this one will have that too. And we'll finish it up. And we did this entire thing with one companion pack, guys. Not even the whole thing. We still have the huge sheet. We still have the small sheet. This is all the companion sheets. So you guys have been like warriors. You've been with me this whole hour. Thank you all for hanging with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.